Hey guys, what's going on? It's Crypto Center here. So, one of my viewers asked me how I learned to use Mew because he wanted to transfer uh, request tokens from an exchange to his My EFO wallet. So, I'm gonna do a simple tutorial because this is not very hard to do. So, first of all, you obviously need your exchange and you need a EFO wallet. So, if you don't have one yet, you just uh, register and make a new wallet, which is not that hard, it will guide you through step by step. So I obviously already have a wallet and I'm just gonna unlock it real quick with my private key. So this is my wallet right here. And you can see when I click on the load token that I currently have, this takes a bit. I currently have 1550 rec token. So he was asking how I transferred this from Binance, you can see this here, to my EFO wallet. So if you have unlocked your EFO wallet, you can first click on the show token to see if the request token is already uh, on my EFO wallet. So if we scroll down, we can see the request is already there. But if you want to transfer another token, you would need to click the add custom token. Then it would ask you for the token contract address. So this is the address where the smart contract is deployed. So in order to find this out, we would go to the etherexplorer.io and we're going on the front page and then we would say uh, request. We will take the first address. So this is where the smart contract of request is deployed. We would copy your address, put it in. The token symbol would be whatever we want. We could also put in ADSF, but rec, and it has 18 decimals. Save. So if this token wasn't already added um, on my EFO wallet, it will now create a new token and you can send it to your address. But with request, we can see this token has already been added as a default token. Try clicking the loads tokens button to see it. So as I said, request is already here. So you would go to Binance. You would go to deposits and withdrawals. Obviously this is different with every exchange. You would take Let's take request, we would say withdrawal. The withdrawal address would be this address right here. So this is your public key, your address of the EFO wallet. You would copy paste that and you would uh, take the amount. Then after a few confirmations, so probably 30 minutes, you would have your request tokens uh, successfully transferred from an exchange to your EFO wallet. Now, if we want to do it the other way, so send a token from my EFO wallet to the exchange, you would, so if we take request again, we will go to deposit, then, re, then we would copy this address, we will say uh, to address, amount to send, we will say request 10, and the gas limit you can just uh, you can just keep what's the, what is in here. Then you would say generate transaction and you would click send the transaction. But keep in mind that in order to pay the fee, you will need a bit of Ethereum in your account balance. So in order to send from my EFO wallet to an exchange, you will need uh, a little bit of Ethereum, so probably around $5 and then you can send it. So I hope this video was as easy as it gets. I hope you now understand how to do it. If you enjoyed, leave a like and also a comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.